With the same letter we've started, I'm going to use this insert logo here as well as the page borders to change kind of a couple of things. So what I wanna do is I wanna click on this logo and I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm just gonna delete it. I'm pressing delete on my keyboard. And what I want to do is I'm gonna, instead of putting a logo here, I'm gonna insert and I'm gonna add a picture or clip art, I guess. I've already put in the search engine uh, education and I want you to do the same thing. You can actually, I have just illustrations. You can click all media types or if you just want a photograph of the uh, education, you can uncheck these here. I like the illustrations, they're more clip art-y. So I just click go. And I like this here, old school education. Now this is clip art. Now the difference between a clip art and a picture, let's look at it just really quick. So if I uncheck this and now put in photographs, you can see the difference. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's insert this picture of the classroom. So we have bit, you know, old school, we got the chalkboards, it all kind of matches. Now this is a clip art, so it is a GIF, it is a um it looks like it's a vector portrait. I have no a vector image. I have no real uh, idea if it is or not. I could guess check the properties, which I'm not going to do at this point in time. We just know that this is a picture. Let's do this one. Yeah, this is a picture. This is, um, you know, a drawing. That's the best way to say it, I guess, is the two differences. And what I want to do is I am going to take this picture. I'm going to resize it a little bit because it's big. And we've got the two pictures now here. And I am going to right click on this. And I want to wrap the text. Right now it's in line with text, which means that as I type, it would type with the same, um, with the same text. We're going to make this one tight. And I'm going to click here. And you can see what happens with tight text. Basically, the text will run up into the picture. And then I can move this around freely. Whereas when it's in line with text, I can't really move it around freely. It would go in between the two words. So I'm also going to right click on this picture and make this um, behind text. So you can kind of see what the difference is. It's behind the text, which is kind of ugly. We can't really see it, I guess, huh? So let's change it. Let's do in front of text. See, and now you can kind of cover the word members. So now you can see the difference between the two options when you have pictures. Let's see if we can get this back up so that we can have it all on one page here. Okay. Last thing we're going to do is change the page border. So we go to page layout, go to the border. And we have a red line here. I want you to pick a different color. Any color is fine, but when you hover over the colors, you can see that they ha all have names. So this one, for instance, is blue accent one. I'm a fan of purple, so I'm going with purple. Um, you can make it a shadow if you wanted to. Let's change the width here. You can even change the style. So I want you to change the style, change the width, change the color. Click OK. You can see now it's changed. And the last thing, the page color. So I'm going to make this tan background too. And you can see that the text in here looks like it's in a text box. So that's OK. So as long as you know how to change the background color, uh, you change the page border and you know how to now line up the text using, you can either use the picture tools, which is, gives you all the stuff here, but the easiest way is just to right click on it and to wrap the text that way.